sports bag where USC now hopped on a recruiting trail and secured another commitment. So let's go. And if you've been here before, can you please hit that like, please? And if you ain't subscribed, boy, you better subscribe. Know what I'm talking about? Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. And turn into the chat. We got another one. Dwayne Morris. He a 5'10, 180 pound running back from Oakland High School in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. He's listed as a three star, but don't let that star ranking fool you. They don't do this kid justice. And on some recruiting sites, he ranked as a four star. Kerry Dalton is Thunder, and Dwayne Morris, he that lightning. You know what I'm saying? He that lightning. Dalton and Morris could be Bush and White all over again. He twitchy. Once he break through blocks and gets in space, he gone for the tutty. You know what I'm saying? Once he break through them blocks and get in space, if he break that line of scrimmage and get in space, he taking it to the house. You know what I'm talking about? He shifts and dances between tackles while he breaking tackles for massive gains. He could catch the ball as well. You know, that support in his Leak and Riley offense. Pass catcher out the backfield. Make this offense even more lethal. You know what I'm talking about? So this is the type of kid we want. This is the type of kid that make the offense versatile that can take the offense to the next level. He give me them Reggie Bush vibes sometimes. Even though that's saying a lot. I ain't said he the next Reggie Bush. But he that type of vibe. He a Reggie Bush, Joe McKnight type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? He could be used in that slot as a receiver because his route running is solid. His route running is very solid. And he's just a fluid runner, period. He just one of them kids getting the ball. And see, they hit another home run with this kid. This another kid I expect to be oh, by a four star by season's end on our conference sites. He's just that type of player. They ain't gonna be able to hold this kid to that three star. And all the top schools is offering him, like, Pay attention to more of the offers. He got offered by 40 different colleges. All the SEC schools offer this kid, right? So SEC hit another home run with this kid. Took another kid out of SEC country, brought him out west. He can play multiple positions, multiple positions on offense. He very fast. And that's a skill that you can't teach. We need that speed and it's supposed to play making on the offense. We know we're going to have elite receivers. Got some elite coming out the backfield. That'd be overwhelming for defenses. That'd be overwhelming for defense. That's too much. You know what I'm saying? Lincoln Riley offense already going to average 40 points with a great running back with or without a great pass catcher running back. You got a pass catcher running back to this USC offense. It, 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 it's like we going to set records. We're going to set records. The type of receivers we got and we getting bringing in running backs that can catch out the backfield too. That's monstrous because Lincoln Riley passing scheme with his receivers and quarterbacks that already going to take the defense. That already going to get the defense a headache. That's already challenging the scheme up. And then you got to have a spy on, on a running back. You got to put a linebacker on the running back. Or if you put a DB, that's one less DB on the wide receiver. Right? So it just causes dilemmas. I remember watching Reggie Bush at USC. And how Norm Child used to use him. Okay, you you can take away Jane Jared and Steve Smith. You can't take away all them, bo both of them and Reggie Bush. Like somebody gonna have a mismatch. Somebody gonna be open. 
So it's like once you got so many weapons, especially one come out the backfield, you you can pick on weaknesses in the defense. Oh, this safety weak. Let me bring him. Let me make the the safety cover the running back. Oh, this nickel back weak. Let me make him. You know what I'm saying? It's like we could pick on people with, with with a lethal threat out the backfield. It is a great safety valve for the quarterback. He could he could hold in the backfield, chip a block, then release like so many things. You know what I'm saying? Quick little easy five, six yard gain, little dump off. So you're gonna dump it off to him for five or six yards. He might only get the five or six yards, or he could take it to the house. He one of the players that could take it to the house at any given moment, at any given time, right? So Dwayne Morris, playmaker, another kid that's excited to be at USC. The kid said, there's no place he'd rather be. Just like the other kid, he said, USC is doing something special right now. That's what he said. And he said he can't wait to be a part of it. That's what I'm talking about. Kids that see that USC got something special going on. It's, it's, it's not a fluke. Cause just like other USC content creators were saying, or even JD from On3, like this ain't just money with USC because all these other schools offering money as well. This kid come from SEC country. You think he can't get a bag in the SEC? They just really see the vision. It's just nothing holding you back. Money could just be a deal breaker sometimes if you can't offer none and the other school can offer some and, and, you, and you young and probably, you know, ain't as affluent as you want to be but it ain't the money that's getting these kids it's just that it's no longer the money factor that's holding us back we have nothing holding us back there's no negative recruiting no more for all these years since Pete Carroll left they can say you who you want to play for you ain't gonna get developed program trash it ain't going nowhere for all these years since Pete Carroll left they go they can say well we got a bag for you USC ain't got no bag for you how you think Oregon was getting all the recruits? How you think they got Ryan Pelham at the last minute? He wasn't even thinking about Oregon. Oregon offered him a bag just to get him away from USC at the last minute, midnight hour. Hey, he go whoop whoop some thousand. USC ain't giving you nothing. You got a kid, right? Come get this bag. So it ain't that we throwing big money at them. It's that we got nothing to hold us back. Nobody can't say nothing negative. There's nothing negative about USC, right? These other schools been living off USC ain't gonna develop you. Now we got the best development in the world, offense and defense. USC ain't gonna get you paid. Now we getting them paid. So ain't nothing stopping us. We back to recruiting at that level. Getting mad, I'm on Twitter. Everybody getting mad. Getting mad. Comment, if you ain't a USC fan, why hop on Twitter? Why hop on the social media and comment? When I see other players come into other schools, I don't say nothing. But they comment on our commits because they mad. They don't want to see us get them. If, if we wasn't no threat, they wouldn't comment on every recruit that commit to us. E either it's, oh, it's three-star you, or I ain't never heard of this kid. Or, oh, he go flip back to Georgia. Y'all ain't going to keep them recruits when the season start. So when we when, when we get five stars to commit, it's, oh, we ain't going to keep them. If we get a three-star sleeper, it's, oh, it's three-star you, right? They ain't watching lick of film. You know what I'm saying? So they mad and they hating. I love it. That means USC we back to where we need to be. And like I said, no matter what season we have, when we come in with a great recruiting class, Trojan fans. Like I said, I seen Texas A&M go six and six or seven and five or five. They went. They had a shitty record and still got the number one recruiting class. So if the only thing that the other school could hold against us, oh USC didn't win ten games. Man, we finna keep 90% of our recruits. They ain't, they ain't finna pass up on that because they gonna see that great class and they notice the momentum. They they know even if we have an average season, they know we going up. They know we stockpiling all this talent, right? And we got all these coaches. So even if we mediocre again for a year, they know that the, the mediocreness is temporary for sure. These kids know. So until it then, it's Carter Sports, it's USC, it's Trojan City. So let's go.
Thank you.